Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add in a glowing, uh, basically make your projectile glow and add a glowing material and add in some other effects here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a material and we'll just call this glow, alright? And the cool thing about that is we can open that up and let's add in a constant 3 vector. And what that's going to do is that that is going to pick a color. So we can double click on this, maybe pick a color like, I don't know, this purple here and for whatever reason sometimes this this purple doesn't go exactly the way you want it to but let's pick a nice purple like that and push OK next thing we're gonna do is we're going to multiply okay we're gonna multiply this and we're gonna drag this into the emissive emissive means color uh, well basically it's going to mean uh, the light that comes out of this here now I don't think uh, well look at that it actually does uh, change the color of it here, but you do want to drag this over to the base color here and you want to click on this multiply and drag this constant to something like a hundred and you should now uh, get that uh, to see it's glowing here. So you can see it is glowing and if you, uh, let's just see what happens if we take out that base color. Does it just glow in that color? Yeah, it does. So, you know, a lot of times if you're adding in something, if you want your base color to be maybe a bit more um, white or something like that, you might want to, to do that here. So let's go ahead and let's push save. And I think that's uh, good enough here. But there's a couple of things and caveats to adding in anything that's glowing within the Unreal Engine. So let's hop in to the first person blueprint here. And I'm going to uh, go into the blueprints and go into the first person projectile, hop into the viewport, click on the projectile, and I'm just going to type in glow okay glow material there we go and it should do that all right so and there we go and you can see that you know it if I kind of move it here it does you know you can kind of see it right here it does glow a bit now if we comp into glow and maybe change this to something more like a thousand which is a little bit much by the way but let's go ahead and let's save it anyway um, and it's gonna have to compile so, and also it does take, a, you know, if we go and hop back in here, right, you know, we can see that there's quite a bit more glow, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. Um, so the reason for that is that the emissive only emits so much light. If you really want this to, well, that's, it's a lot of glow. So if you really want this to glow, you know, well, let's put that back down to, let's say a hundred. You should think of this emissive here as more of an effect for the viewing purposes, rather an effect for actually lighting up the scene. So I'm going to hop into that first person projectile here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a point light, okay? And that point light is going to be in there. I'm going to drag up the intensity a bit, and I'm going to change the, um, the radius down, because uh, this will make it a lot brighter here. And, and if we play this, you can see that, well, you can see that the, there's, there's a bit of a light here. Okay, and so you would basically you would change these parameters up, and if we stop that here, compile it again. Let's just play that one more time, and you can see that yeah, that that's starting to look pretty cool. I think that looks really neat, by the way. Um, and of course, you may you know you don't want to play around with the intensity here, but you also want the light color here. So let's hop on this here, and one thing you can do is you can just do this hex. Uh, you can copy this here. And then if we hop back into the point light, uh, we can hop into the light color here and then just paste that in here like so and push OK. Now there is a way to do it programmatically, but for now, I think that looks pretty good. Right. And you can see that we now have these light balls. And this looks a lot better, in my opinion. I think it well, as you look, looks, looks quite a bit better. Now, of course, you can drag up the intensity and you can drag this out here. Uh, and then, you know, you can really go overboard with the light here. One thing I highly recommend when you are uh, working with any kind of, well, anything with light or anything is in Unreal is to not go overboard. 
Um, I think that is a very cool, cheap, and easy effect. And by cheap, I mean uh, it's not expensive in time to produce. You know, you could actually do that here. Now, just for fun, before we go, uh, let's take a look at this here. And let's just change this to glow. right? And you can see here that now we have a emissive here. And that's actually pretty, it's pretty emissive. And you can kind of see the reflection off the gun here. So... Um, glowing, anything that's glowing is a very cheap and easy effect, but you also want to make sure uh, that you add in lights uh, to, to really get the effect going here. All right, now if you type in light, there's a bunch of different lights here. You can add even add in a spotlight, and that actually changes things up quite a bit, right? Uh, you know, if you want to add in a different effect here. I'm going to undo that here because we don't really need that. Um, but anyway, uh, that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And please be sure to buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. See you in the next video.